So, you know, I, uh, I've always been reticent to talk about these earnings plays because they're literally grenades. You can win big, but you can lose big. And I almost stepped on a landmine yesterday. So I was short F5, the stock F5, uh, <clears throat> close at 154, and uh, I was short like 4,000 shares. And it opened and went to 177. It went up like 25 bucks. That would have been a 100 grand loss. And I was looking at it like three minutes to go, and I go, do I like it? Do I, uh, you know, and then if I'm like a little bit hesitant, so man, I just stepped out of it at the last moment, and it went up 25 bucks. And then I actually shorted it at 175. So now I'm actually making 1500, uh, 15, uh, uh, 15 points the other way. So that's why I'm a little bit reticent to discuss these earnings plays. They can be very powerful, but you get it wrong and you can you know, really get hurt. So um, I, I was also short Logitech, but I, I wanted to talk about a couple of things here. My, my operating thesis is that we're gonna go down dramatically in the stock market. It has been that way for a long time now. I was kind of thinking, what is going to be the driver of this? Because, you know, in 2008, we had a clear kind of black swan in the form of the housing market. And, um, you know, yes, we have slowing growth, we have inflation, we have all these things. And then tomorrow is going to be a Fed meeting. So, you know, always on the Fed day, you always get a head fake. It always kind of goes lower, then closes higher because people think, okay, they know more information. It's more information's out there. We've kind of pulled forward. We've made these assumptions. And then the following day crashes. So I'm hoping it goes according to script. So, I, you know, I just see this pattern. And pattern equals trajectory. And how it gets there, the whys, you know, what have you, you know, we don't know until, you know, we see it happen. But I, I do think we're going down 50%. Uh, I do. I think we're going, people have talked about 34, 32, 50% would be like there. And I'm thinking, well, you know, why, how is this going to happen? What's going to happen? And I started fooling around, um, looking at some charts, you know, in my spare time. This is what I do for fun. Um, I was looking at one of this chart right here. So this is the personal savings chart going all the way back to 1960. And you can see even in the 75 eras, this is when we had the worst inflation. We had um, a really bad era of stagflation. Literally throughout the 1970s, you had the stagflation. But you can see, so this is the personal savings rate, and you can see it's right down here, right in the shitter, like 5.3%. And so this, to me, is really a bad omen, right? The consumers are starting to get tapped out. They're spending on their credit card to pay for all this inflation, and they are tapped out. I mean, this is... You know, I'm starting to see charts with like some of the lowest readings ever. You know, you see statistics now with the word ever in it. It was the lowest uh, home builder sentiment ever. It was the lowest consumer sentiment ever. Uh, it was the first time the Dow Jones went down 12 of 13 weeks. And it's just like, you know, it's like really weird. I mean, S&P is down 17% right now. And you go, well, where is all this carnage? What's really going on? So I'm just kind of looking at these things under the hood and, uh, you know, I don't like to draw conclusions. Uh, the market does that for me. And then I was looking at this other chart. This is uh, labor productivity growth. And this shows this blue line is the total labor. And you can see now that we are going south with the labor out output is like now the lowest it's been in uh, over a decade. And basically, this is a very important labor productivity. I would say that, you know, if we could get our productivity up, all ills of society would be pretty much solved. But this is what's happening through a collection of 
business regulation, taxes, you know, just business, you know, government and getting in front of, of, of businesses, We're not allowing the, 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 you know, the economy to prosper. And this is the death knell because basically at 0.7% labor growth, it would really take, it would take 99 years to double the standard of living. And this is really bad stuff. So my timing was so bad yesterday. So I'm looking at the personal savings rate and, you know, I'm thinking, okay, Home Depot, Walmart, Target. And I started, I'm not kidding you. I started looking at these charts around, you know, toward the end of the day. And they didn't really show anything remarkable. Um, and then I think after the market closes, somehow Walmart comes out with guidance and it gets cranked. So you can see, I was looking at the chart here. I'm going, okay, I could kind of hang out, watch this. You know, I think it's going to get hurt because of, you know, that the consumer's tapped out, these things are going to roll, right? So now in the aftermarket, this thing plunged. It's trading at now $120. It's trading at June 2020 lows. So Walmart, Target, all of these stocks are now, these companies have gotten all of their ordering inventory wrong. And now they're sitting with huge inventory. And they're, they're all plunging in the pre-market and aftermarket sessions. And so there is something really going on under the hood. And I think there's going to be a cycle here. It's actually called a bullwhip phenomenon where, you know, because of the supply side problems, now I think supply side is easing up. Now the stores have got all of these goods and now they've overordered relative to the demand and the customers are tapped out. And so now I think it's actually going to be somewhat of a deflationary cycle where now, you know, you're going to see all of these things go on 75% sales. So Walmart can clear out all the shit. Prices are going to go down. The Fed will react. They'll start, you know, easing off this tightening cycle. They'll actually go into quantitative easing. And then we'll go back into these cycles again. And I think we're going into just a, a you know, a vicious phenomenon. But, you know, that's all just macro garbage and whatever. To me, you know, the charts, you know, uh, equal trajectory. And I, I think we're getting very close to this thing getting tapped out. This is the S&P. We're 39 and a half. Maybe we go to 4,100. So you have, you know, that much to go on the upside and that much to go on the downside. So, you know, there's, uh, you know, again, the way this thing closed, Right on the high, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens this week. Tomorrow, again, we're going to have Fed. Usually there's a head fake, right? So the market usually goes down. The Fed's going to announce something. The market's going to go down. Then it always like rallies like, you know, all the way till the close. And then the next day it opens lower. So if it does do that, just wait till the close tomorrow and go short. So you can see, yeah, 45, it's 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.